Uh, good evening again. It's uh, January 5th, I believe, 2012. Uh, again, the first time I've been talking to y'all since uh, the new year started. And man, I'll tell you, it has been snowing here. It's a really weird year. We didn't ski till just before Christmas. And then now it, it snows and then it rains into the snow, so it makes this really uh, heavy, heavy snow. And you just kind of wonder on these old houses how much weight there is on there. But the wind blew the snow, so it was kind of overhanging. Like, let me see, I've got a book in my lap. If, if here's the roof, then the, and I think it was overhanging like that, so it looked like it might fall off. And they say it never has. They say, oddly enough, there's a village of about 80 houses or something like that we have here, and there's only two houses in the village that the snow slides off of that have what they, these special tile roofs, these old tile roofs, or new tile roofs. But they say that the snow never slides off them, that they figured this out years ago, except for two houses in the village. And uh, my only guess is they're bewitched. <laughs> you know, we talk about insulation, all this other stuff, but I don't know whether that's true or not. Um, so, but my neighbor, uh, some of the people go out and cut the, uh, get up on the roofs and kick these edges off, which I'm real leery about doing. I mean, I, I don't mind heights uh, most times. You know, there's times like I don't know if everybody, but if I get to the edge of a cliff or something, I get a little bit scary. But uh, the man down the road, Peter Egley, he he hand makes sleds, and they go like hell. Uh, they're they're so much fun. Uh, the kids went uh, sledding the other day on a hill where most people rent their sleds and my wife went by these people and she heard the lady say, why are our sleds going so slow? <laughs> and But I went over to Peter and Nicole went over and, and asked him, I said, I saw there was this thing that he was using to cut the snow off and he brought it over to me and there's about a 40 foot pole and on the end of the pole is a saw blade and part way down from there about, oh, maybe six feet from the top is just a piece of copper that's nailed onto it. and he said, you know, you've got to cut away from me. Now, this thing is unwieldy. <laughs> it's heavy. It's and You're trying to do this, and you're trying to knock the snow off. But the piece of copper that goes across, it's about, I don't know, about 18 inches long, and it's part way down, is to catch the snow because the snow has a tendency to fall down the blade, and this thing breaks up the snow so it doesn't fall on you. I mean, it's absolutely this ingenious invention. And I spent a couple of hours out... Uh, on our garage, cutting the snow off, and a couple hours out on the back of the house, cutting the snow off. And I've never done that before. Uh, and uh, I talked to Peter, and he, I said, that's a pretty cool invention. He said, better than getting up on the roof, and I agreed with him. Uh, so, but we, we're having snow again. We've had another complete day of snow, and now it's raining a little bit. I don't know what this is about. Very, very odd winter, but the skiing has been great when you get out there at the right time. Have fun. Talk to you soon.